Hello students, welcome again. Students, in today's video lecture, we are going to discuss different types of tragedies found in English literature. We know that drama can be divided into two categories, comedies and tragedies. In my previous video lecture, I have discussed different types of comedies, but in today's video lecture, let's start to understand these different types of tragedies in English literature. Horace Walpole has rightly said that life is a tragedy to those who feel and life is a comedy for those who think. That means what? Tragedy is connected with your emotions, with human emotions. And comedy is connected with thoughts, with intelligence. In tragedy, you know, the end is tragic. In comedy, the end is happy. Tragedy is a kind of a drama which is full of murders, insanity, deaths and pain. The pain the melancholy, the sorrow of human life has been represented in drama and that becomes a tragedy. Here, the main character, he has the quality, he has one weakness which is known as hamartia. If I use the term used by Aristotle, this hamartia becomes the central cause, central reason behind the downfall of the tragic hero in this play. Aristotle believed that the main characteristic of tragedy is, to, is the change of fortune. You know, the character in the beginning of the play is presented as a prosperous person, as a happy person, but all of a sudden there is a change of fortune. There is a reversal of situation which brings about tragedy in the life of the tragic hero. We have discussed this tragedy in detail in my previous video lecture, but let's have a look at different types of tragedies in English literature. And there are total eight types of tragedies as you can see on the screen. Greek tragedy, Roman tragedy, Elizabethan tragedy, Jacobian tragedy, tragic comedy, heroic tragedy, she tragedy and domestic tragedy. And one by one, let's now start the discussion of all these eight different types of tragedies. We begin with Greek tragedy, which is considered as the most ancient tragedy in literature, which was existing during the 6th century BC. That means about 2600 years back in Greek literature, this kind of tragedy was existing. In these Greek tragedies, you know, it consists of a protagonist of a very high rank. Either the protagonist, the tragic hero is a king or queen or a prince or a great warrior. Okay. They mainly deal with these kinds of tragedies. Greek tragedies are, mo are mostly religious tragedies or they have some heroic themes, you know, and they have the element of mythology. These Greek tragedies are actually designed after Aristotle's theory of tragedy as he has discussed in his Poetics. They, there is, uh, these dramatists of Greek tragedy, they follow all the three unities of time, place and action in their drama. And chorus plays an important role in ancient Greek tragedy. If you want some names, you have Sophocles, Euripides and Aeschylus. These are the three great names of tragedy writing in ancient Greek drama. Oedipus Rex is one of the best examples of the Greek tragedy. Now after Greek tragedy, if you come down to the 3rd century to 1st century, we have a new kind of tragedy found in literature that is Roman tragedy. Roman tragedies were mostly the adaptations of the Greek tragedies. Okay? Some Roman writers, they followed the Greek, ancient Greek tragedy and 
on the basis of that they innovated a new kind of tragedy which was known as roman tragedy and it existed from 3rd to 1st century bc these roman tragedies they were full of violence they were full of bloodshed you know in today's times we have about 8 to 10 some critics believe it is 8 some critics believe it is 9 or 10 we have about 9 to 10 plays roman plays written by seneca which are even surviving in today's times okay and many elizabethan writers they have adapted these roman tragedy they have started they started writing in the roman fashion when they wrote tragedies during the 16th and 17th century hercules furens and media these are the two most important roman tragedies written during the 1st century bc third type of tragedy is elizabethan tragedy which existed during the 16th century in english literature this elizabethan tragedy is also known as romantic tragedy this has been established and popularized by christopher marlow in fact christopher marlow has been considered as the father of elizabethan tragedy william shakespeare is an another important writer of elizabethan or romantic tragedies here the protagonist they are of high status they are either kings or princes or great great warriors and just like greek tragedies here these characters these tragic heroes also have some fatal flow they have some hamartia you know and there is a reversal of situation presented which brings about the tragic end of the hero you know if you want some examples you can take hamlet macbeth king lear othello geo of malta by marlow uh, edward the second by marlow dr foster's by marlow these are the greatest romantic tragedies elizabethan tragedies of the 16th century the difference between romantic tragedy and classical greek tragedy is that these writers elizabethan writers they did not give much importance to the unity of place and time they followed unity of action but they rejected they violated unity of time and place fourth type of tragedy which we come across in the beginning of the 17th century is jacobian tragedy which is also known as revenge tragedy jacobian tragedy you know it is a kind of imitation of senecan or roman tragedy here revenge is the principal theme principal subject matter of such tragedy they are full of violence full of sex and full of blood shed shakespeare's hamlet is many times termed as a jacobian type of tragedy why because revenge is the central subject matter of shakespeare's tragedy hamlet john webster he has written the duchess of malfi uh, that is also considered as a revenge tragedy the fifth type of tragedy is tragedy comedy which is actually not a pure tragedy it is a mixture of tragedy and comedy <coughs> this tragedy existed again in the beginning of the 17th century and william shakespeare is considered as the pioneer of tragedy comedy it is a mixture of tragedy and comedy here the comic elements and tragic elements are mixed together the writers like shakespeare they believed that life is a mixture of tragedy and comedy and if you want to give the exact picture of human life then both these elements must be presented together 
in the same comedy, in the same play, and that is why they started writing tragic comedy. In fact, we must also remember the name of Plautus. Plautus wrote Amphitryon, which is the best example of tragic comedy, and these Plautus is a Roman dramatist of the ancient times who is also considered as the father of tragic comedies. Okay? But in English literature, William Shakespeare is the pioneer of writing tragic comedies. His Merchant of Venice is an important example of a tragic comedy. The sixth type of drama, sixth type of tragedy is heroic tragedy and she tragedy, which we find during the late 17th century, second half of the 17th century, or you can say during the period of <coughs> restoration age, you know, where John Dryden and William Congreve were publishing the fantastic kind of poetry and drama. During this period, this she tragedy and heroic tragedy became popular. This type of tragedy, heroic tragedy, was a complete break from the Elizabethan tragedy or the romantic tragedy. John Dryden developed a new heroic tragedy and she tragedy during the restoration period. John Dryden along with Thomas Otway, these were the two great masters of writing heroic and she tragedies. Now what is a heroic tragedy? In heroic tragedies, we find that love and honor are the main themes. Here, heroine possesses dazzling beauty and heroes are of superhuman powers. They are not common men like me and you. Here, the hero is having superhuman power, right? The tone is also highly exaggerated and that's why it is called heroic tragedy. John Dryden has written these four heroic tragedies, The Indian Emperor, The Titanic Love, Conquest of Garneda Part 1 and 2, and Aurangzeb. These are the five heroic tragedies written by John Dryden. Thomas Otway also wrote four heroic tragedies, Don Carlos, the Orphan, Venice Preserve, and Tragedy on a Grand Scale. Okay? And what is a she tragedy? She tragedy we also find during the period of Restoration Age. You know, when there was a decline of these heroic tragedies, all of a sudden a new kind of tragedy came into existence. It is called a she tragedy. Why? Because here <coughs> the masculine qualities of the hero are introduced in the character of a heroine okay so here the heroine the female character becomes more dominant than the male character and that is why it is <coughs> it is known as she tragedy right the last type of tragedy is domestic tragedy which we find during the 19th century in fact it emerged, this domestic tragedy originated during the 16th and 17th century Elizabethan period, but it became more popular during the 19th century. Why is it known as domestic tragedy? It is known as a domestic tragedy because here the background is the, the background is domestic. Here the dramatist does not talk about the life of great people, okay, the royal people. Here, the life of the common man like me and you has been presented, okay. What kind of tragic situations occur in the common man's life that has been the focus here in domestic tragedy and that's why it is known as domestic tragedy. Why? Because common man's common tragic problems have been presented here. During the 19th century, Henrik Ibsen, Ibsen, he wrote so many plays which became popular as domestic tragedies. 
the best example of Ibsen's A Doll's House and Eugene O'Neill's The Einstein Comet. You know, these are the two best examples of domestic tragedies in English literature. So, all in all, as I discussed all these eight different types of tragedies, you know, remember that these are different types of tragedies uh, starting from 6th century BC to the 19th century in English literature. So, here I end up this video lecture. If you really loved this video lecture, please share it among your friends and classmates. Thank you. Thank you very much.